Okay friends, now let us talk about the binding change mechanism for the ATP synthesis uh, with the enzyme ATP synthase. F1 has three chemically identical but conformationally distinct alpha beta promoters. Each promoter has one catalytic site for ATP synthesis. O here is uh, at the open conformation has very low affinity for the substrate or products. The L conformation or L con conformation binds ligands closely and loosely. The T conformation binds ligands very very tightly and is catalytically very active. In the first step ADP plus PI binds with the L site. An input of energy drives the conformational change that converts the site L to T, site T to O and site O to L. Because the T site had ATP bound and the energy was used to change it to an O site, the ATP was released. Thus the energy is not used to synthesize ATP but to release uh, it from the tightly bound state. The conformational change is driven by the gamma subunit which is designated by the central green object which is denoting at this O point here. As ATP is released from the new O site, another molecule of ATP is formed spontaneously. At the new T site, this ATP is formed. After two more such sequences, the enzyme has returned to its initial step. In recent modifications to the original binding change mechanism, site L is always occupied by ligand and ADPPI always bind to the oocyte after ATP is released.